What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our SEC football channel. South Carolina had the toughest schedule in all of college football in 2019, according to our schedule rankings from last year. They had to play Clemson, of course. They play every year. They had to play Alabama out of the West. They had to play North Carolina, a game that people, I think, overlooked and expected South Carolina to win. They lost that game. It was a rough year. They went 4-8. and eight. If you give them Clemson's schedule last year, I think this team makes a bowl game easily. But they just had a brutal schedule. They were still able to pull off the upset against Georgia. And even though, if you if you ask me before the season, okay, South Carolina is going to upset Georgia, what will their record be? It would have been at least 6-6. Six and six. It would not have been 4-8. and eight. Uh, But it just shows you how tough it is to do it every single week. And we'll see if this 2020 schedule is any easier. It definitely starts easier. They open up the year with Coastal Carolina on September 5th and then East Carolina on September 12th. So two easy games to start the season. They should be able to take care of business in both of those games. And then it's Missouri on September 19th. Definitely a winnable game. Don't really know for sure what we're going to get out of Missouri, how good that team is going to be. But I think the South Carolina team has a chance to start 3-0, build some confidence, as they get into really the meat of their schedule because it gets much tougher from there. Kentucky on September 26th on the road is going to be a very difficult game. Kentucky is going to be very good this year. Uh, they might be the third best team in the East. I think kind of that's, that's a debate right now between Kentucky, Tennessee, maybe South Carolina is in that discussion as well. But Kentucky has a lot coming back. That will be a really tough game, I think, for South Carolina. They play Florida on the road on September on October the 3rd. Also, obviously, going to be a really tough game. So you might start the season off 3-0, and then you might lose several games in a row here because that's just how the schedule sets up. Tennessee going to be a big swing game on October 10th. I think that's a game that South Carolina is really going to need to win. The winner of that game, I think, goes on to have a pretty big year. The loser probably has a, a very disappointing year. They get them at home. That's good news. But Tennessee is a team that finished really hot at the end of last year. Can they carry that over? Again, this will be a tough matchup for South Carolina. It's a winnable game, especially playing at home, but it's it's going to be a tough one. Texas A&M they actually get a bye week between Tennessee and Texas A&M, so no game on October 17th. But on October 24th, they will host Texas A&M in a, what should be a, a pretty big challenge, I think, for South Carolina. Texas A&M is going to be good this year. They get them at home, though, so I think there's a possibility that the Gamecocks can, can get the upset there. And it, if you could... Get a couple of the wins, Tennessee and Texas A&M at home, and even if they lose to Kentucky and Florida, you're sitting there with just, with just one win away from a bowl game, and you got Wofford on the schedule. So, I mean, it could be a pretty good year for South Carolina if they can win some of these games early. A Vanderbilt on the road, definitely a winnable game there on Halloween, October 31st. Um, so maybe even if you lose to Texas A&M, but you just get the win over Tennessee, win the first three games, you get Vanderbilt then you're, you're pretty much set. You're going to get to a bowl game. So I think a bowl game is definitely possible when you look at the schedule uh, for South Carolina. On November 7th, they will play Georgia at home. They upset them last year, but you know Georgia is going to be out for revenge. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to see the same type of result we saw last year. You know, Jake Fromm played horrible in that game. He's gone. Jamie Newman steps in. Uh, maybe a little bit more offense this year. But who knows? Maybe South Carolina playing at home. They could pull off a big upset. They have a very tough one after that. It's on the road at LSU. So last year they play, of course, they play Texas A&M every year. Last year they play Alabama out of the West. This year they play LSU. Can they not stagger that, like play Alabama, then Arkansas, then LSU, then Mississippi State or something like that? Uh, I don't That's That doesn't seem right to me to have to play Alabama and then LSU in back-to-back -back years. And you had to play at Death Valley. So a very difficult game there for South Carolina. They'll actually play at both Death Valleys because they'll play LSU on the road and Clemson on the road. But they get Wofford before Clemson on November 21st. Again, should be an easy win. And then they finish up on the road at Clemson November 28th, which might be the toughest game of the year. So you got some really tough games on this schedule with LSU on the road, Clemson on the road. You got Georgia, you got Florida on the road. Four really tough games there. Kentucky is going to be tough to beat on the road. Uh, but there are games that I think they could steal on this schedule and potentially have a pretty solid year. Is it as bad as last year's schedule? It's close. It's close. I mean, you replace Alabama with LSU. This time you have to play on the road at Clemson. Uh, the overall non-conference outside of the Clemson game is easier. You don't have a game against North Carolina. So because of that, I'd say this schedule 
is a little bit easier, but I think the South Carolina schedule will probably once again rank in the top 10 uh, for toughest schedules for this upcoming 2020 college football season. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.